What's going on YouTube, Bert here, and in today's video, we are going over both of the unstoppable monsters. The old survival one and the new daily ops one. I'll be showing you the differences between both of them, and we'll get a good look on how they do. Now before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, that way the Fault 76 community can see this, and subscribe for more Fault 76 content. Let's get into it. And the first unstoppable monster on my list is the old school survival mode one. This was whenever we had a mode called survival mode, you could do daily and weekly challenges to hopefully obtain special weapons. This was one of them, and this is a bloodied weapon, guys. That's why it says, on my damage right now, it says 79, but I am full health. So whenever I go bloodied and show you guys how these work, it'll be way different. But this one looks really cool. It has a clean bone look to it. Looks like you've had those bones there for a while. Has a little blue cushion inside there. Get your little things on the side. I don't know. I don't know exactly what those are, but it looks cool. It looks super neat, and these are super strong weapons, guys. And they do have a mod on them, which is the extra claw. But you can take it off. Those are the only mods on it. But this one can be dropped and traded and sold. You can do whatever you want with this one. So keep that in mind. On to the next one. Now the next unstoppable monster is the new daily ops unstoppable monster. Again, this is still a bloodied weapon everything is still the same we still have the same damage same attack speed same everything the only thing different is first off the look the look looks absolutely sick this looks like a fresh you know you freshly killed the death claw and now you put this together we also have like that red and black cushion which is completely different from the blue one oh my gosh this one looks so amazing and on this one we actually have like a temperature gauge which on the other one it was just that little silver thing so but this one is super cool. When I, when I craft this one, that is the way you get it. So first you get the plan from doing daily ops, okay? Once you get the plan from doing daily ops, you must go to the legendary purveyor to buy legendary modules. You need two of them. Let me find it over here. You need two legendary modules and all of that type of junk. Okay, once you have all that, you'll be able to craft this bugger right here. Once you craft it though, the difference between this one and the other one, this one cannot be traded, dropped, or sold to other players. It's kind of like their new weapons, like the Crusader pistol and stuff like that. So once you have this one, this is yours and only yours. You cannot trade this or offer it to people or anything like that. The only one that can be traded, guys, again, is this one. This is the old school survival mode one, and they still have the same exact damage, same exact everything on it. The only thing difference is the skin. And again, this one costs modules to craft and you cannot trade it. But that is okay because look at how it looks like. It's freaking awesome. Now let's get into some demonstrations. And now we're all bloodied up and we're at West Tech to take on some super mutants. And as you can tell, my damage is now at 192. I do have Iron Fist maxed out, which gives me a plus 20% in damage. And I do have Tenderizer on to kind of help out, but again, y'all will be able to kind of see that they are the exact same still. Still speed, everything. It's just like having a skin on it. The only difference is the way it looks. And again, this one has more restrictions. It cannot be traded, sold, or anything like that. But I will let you know whenever I swap in between them, that you, well, you can know which one I'm using at the time. And you can kind of tell they're, they're the same. So... With that being said, let's start off. And after we kill these guys, we will go on to a behemoth. All right. I think the bait, yeah, it's like one or 200, 246, somewhere around there. Now, again, I am not a strength build, so I cannot show you this proficiently. And this is a survival mode one, but I can still show you all how they work and everything. So now we're gonna switch over to our daily ops one. Boom. Boom. Uh-oh. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. Again, these weapons are absolutely beasts. And I'm about to switch over back to the old school survival mode one. Here we go. Boom. Both of them. Both of them. Oh, if I can hit. Both of them. Look at that, guys. Absolutely insane. Now these are very, very good one-handed melee weapons. I do know there's a few builds around these and it is insane. Now we'll go back to the new day, the Ops one. Boom, look at that. Again, these are both the exact same damage, speed, everything. This one just has more restrictions than the other one. 
Now, let's move on to the behemoth. Now we're at the behemoth, and I'm going to start off again with the survival mode one, and I'll let you know when I switch in between them. But again, still the exact same, guys. Still the exact same. Now, keep your fingers crossed that he doesn't send me to the moon. That is my only fear. But I think we got this. Hey, behemoth! I, I can't shoot to, like, get him... Get it. Oh, my gosh, it's too deep. That's too deep. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. I got whacked, guys. Let's see, let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a hard fight. We got 178. 178. Let's go, son. Let's go, son. 178. 178. Okay, okay. We're going to switch to the Daily Ops one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Daily Ops one. There we go. Bah. What did that hit? I hit him in the head, too. Bah. Three. Oh, my gosh. 355. 178. That critical, though. Oh, 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 who will win? You shall not pass. Um, guys, he got me. But as you can see, they do the exact same damage. I am definitely not proficient in these weapons, but I do like to show them off. That way, the community has an awareness. Like, I personally did not know the Unstoppable, the new one, had a different skin. I was like, holy crap. And then I was like, you know what? I can craft a bunch of these and then sell them. <gasps> but no, you can't You can't sell them. It's When you craft it, it is yours. But other than that, guys, I appreciate you so much for watching. And if you enjoy the Fault 76 content, make sure you're smashing that like button and subscribe for more Fault 76 content. I shall see y'all in the next one. Peace.